Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Yay, favorite day of the week. I'm never like up and dressed and out the house this early, but um, yeah, Marley has a grooming appointment today. If you guys watched my last vlog, you know that I tried to take her and um, it didn't work out, but the groomer that I found, she really wants to be able to groom her for me. Like she said, she wants to give it another shot. She just asked me to bring her at a time when she didn't have like a full schedule, full docket. So I'm going today, Monday, 7 a.m. Marley's outside right now. I'm trying to see if she'll take a pee before we leave. And then, um, yeah, we're going to the groomers. <sighs> Fingers crossed, guys. Like, literally, I just want to be able to groom her, like, honestly, twice a year. Just shave her down to the absolute lowest. That way, it's not so much of a mess with the diaper. And, um, just go from there. Like, I don't even care if she looks cute. I don't even care if it's a good cut. I just want her cut, you know? There she is. Look at your ridiculous niece, you guys. Look at her. She looks crazy. This is all she would let her do. She didn't get her shave job finished. She didn't get a bath. She didn't get her nails clipped. So she didn't get much progress, but I guess this will have to do for now. Oh, Marley, what am I going to do with you? Hmm? Her diaper fits a bit better, though. You lost? She's lost right now, guys. This is her dementia. Do you need help? I think she's looking for her water bowl. You need help? Come. There you go. Told ya. I know when my baby's thirsty. Alright, well the first thing on my list didn't quite go as planned, but Marley was my priority, so that's done. Next, I need to get some cleaning done, you guys. My kitchen is an absolute mess, and so is my bathroom, so I'm going to put this hair up, assume the cleaning position. little cleaning bun. Let's get to work.
grocery store so i wanted to show you guys the financial crisis that canadians are going through like i know cost of living has increased everywhere but people in toronto are like our groceries are expensive so i want to show you a full grocery haul everything i got for the household and how much i spent okay first things first eggs we eat a lot of eggs in this house so i got this big 30 pack of large eggs a loaf of store brand holy bread not even name brand okay this is the store brand head of lettuce four potatoes green onions a cauliflower i got four chicken thighs this is a bag of drumsticks it's one two three four five six. there's eight in there and that's one bag of groceries down which i also have to pay for the bags by the way I never remember to bring mine. I have a drawer full of like a thousand bags. I've got a pack of uh, chicken breakfast strips, a small tub of feta, a red onion, a bag of onions, a little lemon squeezy thing, water crackers. Do you guys know what water crackers are? These are Jamaican crackers. They're so good. Container of hummus, some pizza pops. Keisha loves these. And four packs of ramen noodles. That's bag number two. All right, bag number three. I purchased a pack of red cups, a liter, this is a liter, right? Yeah, a liter of milk, two things of granola bars, a jar of jerk seasoning, a can of sweet corn. I'm gonna have taco salad for lunch. And a bulla cake. If you don't know what bulla cake is, uh, look it up. <laughs> and that is bag number three. Oh, I also purchased um, a big pack of toilet paper. We have three bathrooms in the house, so I like to keep them all stocked. So that's it. Three bags of groceries plus a huge uh, pack of toilet paper. Guys, this was $200. It's just so expensive nowadays. Like, uh, I just don't know how people are doing it. Before anybody says, why don't Keisha and half contribute i never said they didn't for some reason people think that i have to say everything overtly two things can be true they can contribute and groceries can still be expensive it's hard out here for a pimp you know what i mean like are single people okay it dawned on me today that i've never experienced a dual income household and I keep wondering like how are people surviving everything's so expensive and it dawned on me that everybody in my circle has a partner <laughs> so yeah like they're wiped up they're married they're engaged whatever they have a house together have a child together like everybody in my circle has a partner even my mom has a husband like so everybody in my circle everybody that i know shares the financial responsibility of life and then i thought about it and i realized wow i don't think i ever have experienced a dual income household because even when i was married um you know we ran my business together so it was still just one stream of income is what what i'm trying to say you know what i mean and i was like wow oh my god I just feel like it must be such a nice feeling to know that somebody else is financially invested in you and your well-being like if shit hits the fan at least you have somebody to rely on financially the fact that things are getting more expensive and more expensive is getting scarier and scarier to me so yeah i just thought i'd rant a little and also check in on my fellow singles and like, how y'all managing? How y'all doing for real? Anyways, I'm about to put all this up and make myself lunch, so I'll see you guys in a minute.
just got an Amazon package in. I ordered some doggy diapers from Marley. So I've been buying them locally from the pet store by this brand. Um, this one is a dozen diapers, so you get 12 diapers. This is $20 for 12 diapers. So I found this bad boy on Amazon and you get, where is it, 48 for $25. So um, I'm hoping that they fit her and that they are just as absorbent and everything. So we're going to try this out on her. But look, it has cute little patterns and her old ones are just plain white. So they look like, you know, just like hospital diapers. But these are so cute. Marley, <laughs> show them your new diaper. This is her new little diaper with the pink... Oh, pink doggies and bones on it. So cute. Why are you adorable? It's time for dinner. Today, we are making curry chicken. Yum. I do have a curry chicken um, video, like cooking tutorial, in my cooking playlist. I was thinking of doing an updated one because I feel like I haven't updated in a while but it is there if you're interested right now i'm just burning the curry I'm gonna add some garlic and then we're gonna put the chicken in all right dinner is done i made a pot of rice jas jasmine rice and then i made my pot of curry so i'm about to go have a drink and watch love island <laughs> and chill out 